What is up guys, Seltz here coming to you with my first ever My League NBA 2K17 My League Rebuilding. I said My League twice, but you know what, it's definitely a My League video. Uh, we have 50 on all my sliders here, I just wanted to show you just to make sure that you all knew that the only thing that changed is I take off recently signed restrictions, traded, and the rookie signing restrictions. Because I'm going to trade them anyways, They're gonna. it's going to happen. There's no reason to wait a week or whatever. So the first uh, team that I'm going to do is Lakers since they are my favorite team. I thought, you know, being from L.A., might as well represent them in my first rebuild here on my channel. I'm going to take uh, Professor 2K's draft class, and I'm going to do a trade finder for the Magic's first round pick. Uh, the main reason is the Magic are super good. Usually in the first season, I'm not going to give them Lou Will because I'm actually going to use that for another thing later. So I'm going to give you instead uh, Larry Nance and two second round picks for Jody Meeks uh, I need to give you one more player mm, Tarklek and you give me your worst contract Zimmerman I'll take Zimmerman alright so not Zimmerman what about uh, who's your worst overall this guy I'll take that alright so then we get Onwaku and then I'm going to go over to the Mavericks so we usually don't do too well in the first season, and I will give you. I'm not going to give you the magic pick, but I might do. Uh, I'll take this off, and I will give you Lou Williams. Uh, and give me. For the magic Mavs pick, I'll take the first round. And you can be Dwight Powell. How about that? Uh, Thomas Robinson for Justin Anderson. You know what? I'm fine with this. Uh, next, I'm going to get rid of the two shitty contracts here. We have Luol Dang making $18 million a year, which is fucking insane. I'm actually going to do this for J.R. Smith and Mike Dunleavy, so then I take away the Cavs' main shooting guard, so they don't have to deal with that since we don't have the Williams anyways. And then I'm going to trade Timothy Moskov, who's making $16 million a year, which is in goddamn sane. Uh, Shabazz Muhammad, Cole Aldrich. I might do this trade. Um, is there anyone else? Is anyone offering some picks? Maybe I like picks. Nope. All right. So I might do. I'm gonna do this Shabazz Muhammad, Cole Aldrich trade, just so I can get rid of that 60 million dollar contract. Is there anyone else who doesn't look too good? J.R. Smith. I'm gonna keep him. I'm gonna trade him in the off season. Uh, Dwight Powell. I'm actually gonna trade right now. 8 million a year, you're definitely not worth it. Uh, I'll do it for Boban. I'll keep Boban here. And anyone else? Calderon. Most of these people are on expiring deals. We have Cole Aldrich, so I might trade right now. And everyone else is on an expiring deal. Uh, if I can get some picks for them, you know what? I'm going to trade them in the offseason for some picks. So for now, our starting rotation looks like. D'Angelo Russell, J.R. Smith, Brandon Ingram, Julius Randle, Boban Marjanovic, Jordan Clarkson, Nick Young, Jose Calderon, and Jody Meeks. As well as Shabazz Muhammad and Cole I guess we're running an 11-man rotation. I'm going to go down to a 10. And uh, we're not going to do well this first season. I don't expect to. We didn't have a lot of good players. We don't have a lot of assets because we have basically all of our trades are, our picks are gone. Except for the 76ers, so we have a chance of getting that back if we get a top 3 pick. So I'm just going to simulate to the end of the season. We're not going to actually make any more trades until the off season, And I will see you with the end of season rewards. Here we are with the end of season rewards where West Westbrook averages 30 points, 12, almost 13 rebounds, almost 10 assists, two and a half steals, basically a triple double, insane numbers from Westbrook. We have Ben Simmons averaging 11 points, nine rebounds, five, almost six assists, two steals and a block a game. Brandon Knight is sixth man of the year with 16 points and almost seven assists. Defensive Player of the Year goes to LeBron James with 23 points. Or basically, his defensive numbers are uh, 11 rebounds, 2.5 steals, and almost 2 blocks. Jeremy Lamb most improved with 13 points and 7 assists. And Terry Stotts of the Portland Trailblazers wins with Coach of the Year with 59 and 23. Uh, did we make any NBA teams with any of our Lakers? I don't think we have anyone except for maybe Brandon Ingram. Yeah, so Brandon Ingram wins. And he's 16 points, six and a half rebounds, three assists, one steal, and one and a half blocks. Uh, we went 28 and 54, which I think is probably one of the worst records. I think we're worse in the Western Conference. Uh, but are we worst in the league? We are not worse in the league. We're fourth. 
because there's three teams that went 27 and 55 in the Eastern Conference. So we're just going to simulate playoffs since this doesn't matter anyways, and we're going to get a lot of trades done in the offseason. Uh, make sure that everything goes through here. Every team is kind of doing their own thing. It's Golden State versus Cavs anyways, and Curry wins MVP with the finals MVP with 31 points, 6 rebounds, almost 8 assists, and 1.5 and steals a game on 34% 3-point shooting, which is pretty good. So first thing, we got to make sure nothing gets changed in league meetings. Reject. Doesn't matter what it is. I'm going to reject everything. And we are going to go to the NBA draft. And hopefully we have some pretty good picks this season. I wonder if we have our pick too. We do not have our pick, so it looks like our pick wasn't worth as much. Wasn't a third pick overall. Let's see what it was. It was a sixth overall. So I'm going to trade the third and the 17th pick. And I want to see if I can move up to the second pick. If not, I might have to just draw it out myself. In which case, I'm going to go for the second pick. First overall. Maybe I can get first with this. Just for those two. And... Nick, no. Anyone who's still on our team? J.R. Smith. Uh, okay, so they're not going to do for the first overall, but maybe I can get the second overall pick. From, not the Grizzlies, the Heat. We have the third and the 17th pick. And we get the second overall pick. Uh, so I'm going to see you at rookie signings with whoever I select in the draft. So with the second overall pick in the draft, we ended up taking Harry Giles out of Duke for our team. We needed a power forward for the future, so we ended up keeping him. Justin Anderson, I will keep you. D'Angelo Russell, Angelus Rand are both going to get extended contracts with us. Uh, any good qualifying offers? Uh, Shabazz, I will not offer you a $4 million deal. And anyone who's good that we want to re-sign in free agency? Jose, uh, I will give you a minimum. Uh, for testing, testing, and no one else really matters. So we're going to go to free agency. I believe we have a good bit of deals here. I think we have... Yeah, we have one max contract. We have a lot of deals here. Who's taking up all our cap space? We have Nick Young and J.R. Smith. If I bag it, if I put them together, I might be able to get maybe just a couple of picks here in the offseason. Um, no. Tyler Johnson and a first round Pete. Yeah, I will actually take this trade. And then I'm going to flip Tyler Johnson. Uh, five and a half mil. It's not really worth it that much. And he's going to get a really big salary increase for the next season i will take this bucks trade for two picks uh who else is taking up our boban and cole aldrich i will trade both of them all right so what about just boban second rounder from the pacers i will take that and cole aldrich i will trade you as well for two second rounders from the bucks the bucks are giving us a lot of picks this year but i'm not complaining and uh, Jordan Clarkson, I'm going to field offers for him just in case somebody's offering something pretty good. Oh, looks like there's a lot of trades. 16. Hmm. Lance Thomas and a first round pick from the Knicks. Or I think I might actually do that. I'm going to take this Lance Thomas trade. That's going to save us a good bit of cap space. I'm going to have half the contract and I'm going to actually flip them again too. I'm going to do a lot of flipping here because Lance Thomas is only a 70 overall. I might do these two picks. Bruno Caboclo. Vince Hayes. Uh, no, I'm going to do the 76ers and get two second rounders, which is good for us. And we're going to go straight to free agency. We should have a lot of cap space to now offer a bunch of max steals. We have a player and in a trade clause. And we will offer Steph Curry a max as well. Player, no trade clause. And Chris Ball will also get one from us, too. And Blake Griffin will get the max from us, as well. Um, I don't think I want to offer one to Kyle Lowry. I'll offer Millsap 30 and 9. Not a no-trade clause. Uh, you know what? I will offer Kyle Lowry one, but only a player contract at this amount. And Gordon Hayward, I will give you 26 and a half in case I can't get anybody, and a player option. Let's see, are we good? No, not even for him. 
Clippers, Clippers. All right, so the only ones it looks like we're gonna get is maybe Lowry and Millsap. Other than that, it doesn't look like we're gonna get anyone else. So I'm gonna simulate past the first day. Uh, Jose Calderon is here. Uh, I will sign you. And let's see, can I negotiate to get maybe Kevin back too? If we can get Kevin Durant on this team, then we're gonna be solid. Everyone accepts another deal, even Kyle Lowry. The only one left is goddamn Paul Millsap. Oh, Kevin Durant is still here. I guess they didn't have enough cap space maybe to sign him. The 76ers are his number one deal? Are you serious? All right, you know what? We will sign Paul Millsap and Kevin Durant goes to the 76ers. Uh, uh, we can't, I'm not gonna sign Rudy Gay on that insane contract, but I will sign a couple trade pieces and Iggy and JJ Redick. Hopefully one of these will accept one. I'll take that and Iggy. I won't sign Drew Holiday because apparently I can't afford him. I will sign JD Redick though. And Derek Rose is asking for way too much money. Taj Gibson. Jeff Green. And Serge Baca is asking for a lot too. So I'm going to go check. Taj accepts another offer. Goes back to Detroit Pistons. I could get JJ Redick. I will sign. Anyone want a minimum deal? Some good players, hopefully. Darren Williams, I will sign you. Michael is asking for way too much money, considering he's basically garbage at this point. Joffrey Laverne, I will sign you too. Ejan Lan. And Roy Hibbert. Darren Williams. Roy Hibbert. And he goes to a different team. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to player progression and see how our players develop over the season. We have Paul Millsap, Dan's Russell goes up three points, George Hill, Harry Giles, JJ Redick, Julius Randle, Brandon Ingram, Andre Iguodala, and you know, these teams, it's just, this is not a competitive team here. We're going to go to training camps. If it will let me load here, it's got to sim through a bunch of stuff for summer league, which no one ever does anyways. Uh, 2018 draft class. We'll take that from Dmore, and we will go to training camps. Yes, I will automate the 2K summits. All right, so we have three training camps to do. So I'm gonna give one to D'Angelo, who goes up to an A. I'll give one to Harry Giles. Make sure he goes up to an A minus. And last one, I'm gonna give to Julius Randle, who goes up to a B plus. So we're gonna advance to the next season. And our roster isn't looking too good. In all honesty, we only have D'Angelo Russell, J.J. Redick, Brandon Ingram, Harry Giles, Roy Hibbert, and Paul Millsap off the bench. Uh, I think I'm going to go and find a trade for Brandon Ingram. A trade that Brown in a pick here. Chris Bosh and Goran Dragic. Gordon Hayward and Derek Favors. Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray is actually super tempting. He's a pretty good shooting guard. He's going to develop pretty well for us. Marcus Aldridge, Paul Gasol. I think I'm actually going to do this Jamal Murray trade. Uh, Antonio Gallinari. And this is going to be good for us. Hopefully, if we can get this trade through. The main reason is I like him better as a shooting guard on our team. And we have Danilo Gallinari. Now we need to upgrade our center position. Uh, I want to see... If we can go to the 76ers. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it this way. Go to the 76ers. And I want to grab Jilla Oak 4. Ooh, he has a lot of trade value. Maybe Hoel Embiid is actually, yeah, Hoel Embiid is actually less in trade value. Considering he's better. It's kind of weird. We will give you, in return, Andre Iguodala. Our first round pick. For him in a straight up trade. And what about a second rounder? I will give you a bunch of second rounders. How about that? We have a lot of picks now from flipping a bunch of players. We've got one more second rounder. Alright, I will give you another first rounder from the Bucks. Alright, so we got Hoel Embiid in a basically free trade. Um, I'm going to see if we can upgrade our small forward position. We're going to put Trade plan. We're gonna put Delano up on the trading block, and we're gonna put three picks or two picks with him as well. 
uh, the Knicks pick and the Heat pick. Hopefully we can get a good small forward in return here. Derek Favors isn't a small forward. Uh, if nothing, then I might have to go drop my own trade here. All right, so there's no good trades here, so I'll see you after I find a good trade. So here we are with a trade I drew up here. I'm going to give Danilo Gallinari, Joel Embiid for Gordon Hayward and Harry Morrison. Uh, and one first rounder with two, three second rounders. Hopefully this trade is good enough. Gordon Hayward is still worth more. All right, you know what? If I give you another good player like Thaddeus Young, and you give me one more not as good player. Actually, you know what? Joe Johnson. Gordon Hayward is still worth too much. What about uh, Julius Randle? And you give me the worst player you have. All right, so we finally get the trade to go through for Gordon Hayward. We needed to upgrade our small four position pretty badly. So now our new lineup is looking like D'Angelo Russell, Jamal Murray, Gordon Hayward, Harry Giles, DeAndre Jordan, Miles Turner, Thaddeus Young, Austin Rivers, and Darren Williams, and Shabazz Muhammad all off the bench. We have a pretty young lineup here with D'Angelo, Jamal Murray, and Harry Giles, and even Miles Turner. So these are probably going to develop pretty well in next season. We should be pretty good to compete. I'm actually going to simulate all the way to the trade deadline. If we're not doing too well, I might make a couple trades. Otherwise, you're going to see the end of season awards. So with the trade deadline here, we're doing a lot better than I expected we were. Player statistics on the season right now is D'Angelo Russell leading us with 18 points and 8 assists. Gordon Hayward has 17.5 for second leading score for us with 7 boards, 6 assists, 1 steal, and 1 block. Jamal Murray has 12 points, which you can't expect too much. He is just a second, he's basically the third option for our team. Our rookie, Harry Giles, is doing pretty well with almost 12 points in six and a half boards and one block a game. Miles Turner's even doing well off the bench. 11 points, nine rebounds, and two blocks a game. Very good from our, a, a pretty young player for our team. Thaddeus Young is doing 11 points, six rebounds, and we have a double-double coming out of DeAndre with two blocks. He's not going to get as many boards as he usually does just because we have so many people to rebound on our team. That's exactly what I like. We're actually 39-17 and 17 right now. I like the looks of this team so far. Everything looks like we're doing pretty well. We have a bunch of 80s on this team. I think we do need to upgrade the bench maybe just a little bit. Uh, if we grab Shabazz Muhammad, maybe actually Austin Rivers and Darren Williams, we might be able to upgrade them for maybe one really good point guard instead of having two decent ones. We can get... He Jan Lan. Um, we can get J.R. Smith back on the team. Uh, Wesley Matthews, Will Barton, and Kenneth Reed. That's actually the trade I'm going to do here. These are two very good points. Uh, people to have or players to have off our bench. Uh, going to do one more trade here. I want to get a point guard for the bench too, since now we have this. I think I'm going to trade Thaddeus Young, since we have Kenneth Reed coming off the bench, and he has pretty good trade value. We can get Tristan Thompson. Jay Crowder, Jamal Crawford, Dwight. We can get Dwight Howard for Kenneth Reed. Uh, Kent Bazemore and Tony Roten. That might be the trade, actually. Darren Collison, this is the trade. Darren Collison's a pretty good point guard for us. So I'm going to go to our coaching lineup. We now have DeAndre Russell, Jamal Murray, Gordon Hayward, Harry Giles, DeAndre Jordan, Miles Turner, Kenneth Reed, Darren Collison, Will Barton, and Raul Neto. Uh, I want to see... Actually, we might flip Raul Neto because I don't want to give... Gordon Hayward too many uh, minutes he has he's pretty good but I don't want to like tire him out before we hit the finals or the Western Conference uh, playoffs and we have any I think I want to get like a Terrence Ross or something Anthony Morrow might be the one Donatus Maniunas Jeremy Grant I'm gonna actually remember that one that might be the trade uh, yeah no I'm gonna do this one for Jeremy Grant and Wayne Ellington And this one should be enough to actually take the take the, the load off of Gordon Hayward's shoulders so he's not going to be too bad and not going to be overwhelmed with all these minutes. So now we have D'Angelo Russell, Jamal Murray, Gordon Hayward, Harry Giles, and DeAndre Jordan. Our bench consists of Miles Turner, Kenneth Freed, Darren Carlson, Will Barton, and Jeremy Grant, which is pretty good for us. I'm actually going to keep it exactly at this rotation because this looks like good. I'm going to actually simulate straight to the, to the end of season rewards, and you guys will see the results at that point, or hopefully we make it as a third or fourth seed. So at the end of season rewards, uh, your, finals MV your MVP for the season is 
LeBron James with 24 points, 10 rebounds, almost 9 assists, 2.5 steals, and 1.5 blocks. Jason Tatum is your rookie of the year with 14.5 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, and a block a game. Brandon Knights, 6th man of the year, once again, 14 points, 6 assists. Dwight Howard wins defensive player of the year with 15 rebounds and 3 blocks a game. Raul Neto, after we trade him to the Thunder, is your most improved player with 6 points, 6 assists a game. Uh, Ron Adams with 56 and 26, uh, coach of the Golden State Warriors, is your coach of the year. Uh, do we have anyone on an all NBA team? I don't want to go to. That's weird. It keeps glitching and skipping to the rookies. But uh, I want to see if we have any Lakers. No Lakers. Not even on the defensive team. Uh, do we have anyone on. Yes, we do. We have Harry Giles, who's averaging 11 points, almost 7 rebounds, 1.5 steal uh, assists, and 1 block a game. Pretty good from a rookie. We actually went 53 and 29, which is good enough for second, actually, in the Winston Conference. So we did a lot better than I expected us to in our first season or second season. So we're gonna go with a lineup of Danza Russell, Jamal Murray, Gordon Hayward, Harry Giles, DeAndre Jordan, Miles Turner, Kenneth Freed, Darren Collison, and Jose Calderon. I'm actually, oh, Jeremy Grant is injured, and so is Will Barton. Uh, how long? How much longer is Will Barton now for? Four to six weeks. So one more one one more week for him. And uh Jimmy Grant is day to day. I'm gonna actually change this down to a nine man rotation. And that's gonna be uh for the first season or the first round we're gonna simulate we're only playing up against the Gordon Hayward's old team and the Utah Jazz. We should be able to beat him in five. Oop and we they take us to a game seven. As Gordon Hayward leads us against his old team with 26 points, 6 assists, and DeAndre Russell has 16 and 15 for this game. Can't ask much more of them. They played their hearts out for this one. Uh, I'm going to make sure that everything's changed here. We have DeAndre Russell, Jamal Murray, Gordon Hayward, Harry Giles, DeAndre Jordan. And I think Jeremy Grant did come back. Uh, so now we're playing against the third seed, Oklahoma City Thunder. I'm going to simulate this game by game because they are a lot better than the Jazz. And we take it to a 1-1 game, so it's tied up. We are up 2-1. It's 2-2. We are up 3-2. If they tie this and send that... Okay, so we beat them in 6, which is actually amazing. And somehow the the Spurs actually beat the Warriors, which is good for us. Because now we don't have to deal with Klay Thompson, Seth Curry. Steph, Seth. Seth Curry. The, uh, the Clearly the better of the brothers. And we're just going to play against Kawhi and LaMarcus Aldridge. I'm going to make sure that our lineup is good for us. Hopefully we can make it to... The finals in our first second season with this team. DeAndre is actually injured, and so is Russell. Jeez, we can't get away with any of these injuries, I swear. But we're gonna go game by game here against the Spurs. Uh, we go 1 1. They go up 2 1. Now it's 2 2. Hopefully, we can take up and can we beat them in six? Ah, so it's a game seven. So we're gonna go to Simcast here. I'm gonna make sure that we tight and deny and I'm going to ah oh, D'Angelo Russell is injured oh boy so we have Darren Collison, Jamal Murray, Gordon Hayward, Miles Turner and DeAndre Jordan Kenneth Reed our bench is pretty good but D'Angelo how he's injured for the season in the playoffs god we can't catch a break with 2k here so we're just going to simulate hopefully Darren Collison can make up for it and secure we win 39 points in the first quarter for the Spurs. Jeez, I don't think we're going to win it without a D'Angelo Russell here. Uh, we are catching up in the third quarter. And the fourth quarter, we're coming out to a lead. But I think we're still going to lose in the end. Yes, yeah, so we lose. We lost in the Western Conference Finals in a seven-game series. It's probably going to be Cavs again once more. Yeah, so they win in seven with 23 points, 10 rebounds, 9 assists, 2.5 steals, and 1.5 blocks from LeBron James as your Finals MVP. Uh, we're going to go to league meetings, make sure nothing gets changed. I like the team that we have so far. We're going to go to the NBA draft. I don't think we have anything, but I want to see if I need to make any trades. I'm actually super depressed that Russell ended up getting injured at the end of that one. I like our team. Uh, Kenneth Freed's pretty good, and Darren Collison. Darren Collison's making a pretty big contract. I want to see if we can maybe change that for someone cheaper. Uh... Darren Williams and pick 59. Um, Darren Williams is a little too old, so I'm actually going to go. I'm going to go to my team player options. I'm going to make sure that we sign everyone back. Uh, Here, Hassan, you are gone because you're not really important and you're making a mill. Any qualifying offers to give out? Nothing. My free agents, do we have any big free agents? We have DeAndre Jordan who's going to test. 
Will Barton, who only wants the minimum contract? I will give you that. I will give you a minimum contract. I will give Jeremy Grant a contract too. And we're gonna go to free agency. Uh, do we have bird rights here? We do, we do want everyone, sweet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can get Paul George. Uh, we need to trade one contract here. Um, Kenneth Reed, I will get rid of you for a cheap deal, hopefully. Tony Parker, Tony Parker's a pretty good point guard off the bench too for us. I think I might do that Tony Parker deal. And that's gonna give us enough to hopefully trade one more. I think I'm gonna trade Darren Collison now. Iguodala, or two picks. I'm gonna do the Iguodala trade. Good off the bench. And then we're gonna give Kirk, uh, Paul George the max deal, a player option, and a no trade clause. And we're gonna give, hopefully we are, yes we are his number one offer. Uh, so I'm gonna offer one to, no, no, I'm just going to go for Paul George. Hopefully he takes our offer here. Yes, we get Will, Paul George and Will Barton on a minimum deal. Going to go for all of our bird options. We're going to sign every single one of these guys. And hopefully they will all sign with us. And let's see who... Was Carmelo CS as a contender? No. But if we get DeAndre back... And all these guys, he might see us as a contender now. No, he doesn't. He does not see us as a contender at all. All right, well, that's kind of disappointing because we have Paul freaking George on the team now. Pablo Cephalosha, I will sign you. Chris Humphreys, you will be on my team. And I'm going to simulate pass the next day. Come on, this is basically a free a free deal here. Come on, guys, a free, a free championship. Melo doesn't want to sign with us, but I will sign Thabo Cephalosha. And Melo's signed. So, we're just going to go straight into player progression here. We have a stacked team for our next season. Uh, so, we have Paul George, Gordon Hayward, D'Angelo Russell, DeAndre Jordan, Miles Turner, Harry Giles, Jamal Murray, Andre Iguodala, Chris Humphreys, Jeremy Grant, Tony Parker, Shabazz Muhammad, Will Barton, Thabo Cephalosha, and Jose Calderon all on our team. I like the look of this already. We're gonna go into our training camps. And hopefully if it loads, uh, this one doesn't matter since it's the last season. We're gonna go in untapped potential. We're gonna give this one to D'Angelo Russell to make sure that he develops. Go into the next season where the first trade I'm gonna do is actually for Garden Hayward. Since we have Paul George now, we don't really need this. And I think we can flip him for an even better player. Al uh, Horford isn't worth it. Derek Favors and Will Embiid. This might be the trade. I'm going to go back to number four. Uh, I want to make sure that there's nothing better here. Yeah, so we're going to do number four for Derek Favors and Will Embiid. This is going to give us insane depth on this team. And we already have Miles Turner. So I might even be able to trade. Uh, so Will Embiid, Miles Turner. I'm going to actually trade Miles Turner because Will Embiid is on an even better deal for us here. So let's see if we can get something good for Miles Turner, who's pretty highly rated. Josh Richardson, Joe Inglis. Uh, you know what? I might do this. I'm, I'm going to do the Josh Richardson trade, but I don't want to do uh, Iguodala because I do like Iguodala a lot. So I'm going to give you Chris Humphreys and a future first rounder. We would, we would acquire too much. So I'm, um, how about I also give you Shabazz. 2.2 more uh, so Josh Richardson has a pretty big contract it looks like so I will take out this one and I'll take out these because I want to keep Iguodala so I'll give you Tony Parker and all right I'll give you the first pick instead too all right so we get Josh Richardson for our bench which is insane so now we have a stacked team absolutely stacked D'Angelo Russell Jamal Murray Paul George Harry Giles DeAndre Jordan Joel Embiid off the bench with Derek Favors Josh Richardson, Andre Iguodala, and Chris Humphreys not getting any minutes. Uh, so I'm actually going to simulate straight through to the trade deadline. If we're not doing 12, we should be doing well. I think we're going to actually make it as a first seed. This should be our first championship of the channel. So here we are at the end of season awards, and we have LeBron James winning MVP again. 27 points, 10 rebounds, 9 assists, 2.5 steals, and 1.5 blocks. Jose Hernandez wins Rookie of the Year with 20 points, 
two and a half forwards, eight assists, a steal, and almost a half a block. Uh, Nicholas Batum wins six man of the year with on the Utah Jazz with 13 points, five rebounds, five assists, one and a half steals, one block. Ron James wins defensive player of the year, and Miles Turner is most improved player with 14 points, 11 rebounds, and 2.2 blocks after we traded him to the Heat for Richardson. Uh, Tyron Lue wins uh, coach of the year with 66 and 16, who's actually a little bit better than us. But do we have any Lakers on one of these teams? For some reason, it always skips. Uh, we have Paul George on all NBA second team. His numbers on the year 20 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, 3 steals, and 1 block. So his numbers are down a little bit. That's to be expected when you're on a better team. D'Angelo makes it out to all NBA third team, 22 points uh, and 10 assists. So he averaged a double double this season. He got those 10 assists two steals and that's exactly what we need from him a bunch of injuries in the league right now all nba defensive team we have paul george here too on the second team and we have no rookies so we actually went 64 and 18 which is insane the only person to do better than us or only team to do better than us is the cavaliers uh, by a decent margin i think and actually uh yeah we beat the warriors by 13 and we're only one close to us is the Cavs, so if we place them in the finals, which we probably will, it's going to be a pretty interesting matchup. These are the team numbers on the year. You can pause here if you'd like to see, but I think the only one that really matters is that DeAndre is almost a double-double, and we have some insane rebounding numbers from our team and Derek Favors. Um, Harry Giles is doing pretty well for us. I actually like that pickup that solidified our team, so we're going to see me at the current round because I'm pretty sure that we're going to sweep the Jazz. Sure, you have Nicholas Batum, but, you know, he's not that good. And we're actually up against the Rockets, who beat us in the last season. So hopefully we can beat them in five, I'm thinking, to make up for that severe loss that we experienced. Oh, my God. We better beat them in six. Okay, so we beat them in six, and now we're going to go either against the Warriors, hopefully Minnesota. So I feel like we can definitely deal with Minnesota. Uh, now we have to play against the Warriors. And the Cavs lose to the Magic in six games as... We play against the Warriors. I'm going to go make sure that our lineup is okay. Hopefully there's no injuries. Everyone is doing extremely well for us. A bunch of people. Look at this insane depth on our team. We just have one of the best, I think, rosters uh, that you could possibly make with the Lakers. Uh, it's 2-0, 3-0. Let's go with the sweep. Let's end the Warriors. And <laughs> they end up losing to us in four as we end up against the Chicago Bulls, the Los Angeles Lakers in the finals here and this is one more change to our lineup we have D'Angelo Russell, Jamal Murray, Paul George, Harry Giles, DeAndre Jordan, Joel Embiid who's an 85, Derek Favors, Josh Richardson, Andre Iguodala and that's all that matters because everyone else is not getting any minutes so we're going to see at the first game, see at the second game Ooh, they take one back it's 2-2 I can't believe we're actually close and we're going to see at the last game here I think we're going to beat them in six uh, we're going to beat them at their home too, so we're going to deny tight, make sure everything is good here, and we're going to simulate the game. Uh, we are actually coming out losing on the first quarter, barely. Oh, nope, we win by, <laughs> by three points, it looks like. So, in the second quarter here, we end up winning as well. The third quarter, they're coming back here by a good bit. Hopefully, ooh, they actually outscore us pretty heavily. And fourth quarter... We are tied up 113, 113. I'm not going to jump in. Uh, it is 123 now. <laughs> I think I have to jump in now in order to see the celebration. Here we go. Oh my god. He's going to tie it up three <laughs> with 50 seconds left. That was a bad foul for us. Oh man. Alright, get the board. Get. Alright, so it's tied tied up 123 to 123 I'm not that good let me make sure that this camera is on a really weird angle I want to make sure it's the 2k camera because it's not going to be good unless it's 2k all right everything should be changed around all right let's do this 48 seconds I'm going to make sure that we get a pick here Embiid, Embiid, he gets the bucket to go with the foul. I don't know how good of a free throw shooter he is, but man, this game is so close. Let's do this, Embiid, and he gets it to go. 
up by three points at 35 seconds left. There's barely any time left on the game. Oh man, Russell, Russell, let's go. Yo, blocks. Get the board. Oh, it's only two points. It's only two points, so we have a chance. We're still up one. Give it to Russell. Give it to Russell. He's gonna go in. Yes. So we're up three. Man, we're playing this pretty well. Oh jeez, this is so close. It's actually terrifying. This is the chance at our first ever championship on Celts Channel. Get the ball. Make him lose it. Tipped. Tipped. Get the defense. No, no, no. Yes. Oh, and they foul with 0.3 seconds left. I think this is the end of it. Joel Embiid is going to secure it with these amazing free throws. I guarantee it. First one's a swish. Give me the second one. This is a free game. Is it green? And it's over. You win by five points. Talk about the clutchest play ever. Joel Embiid should win MVP for those free throws alone. Oh my god. That was intense. So there we go. Winning. And are finally the sixth game in our last championships. Oh. As you saw there at the end of the Game 6 NBA Finals, Los Angeles Lakers have won their 17th championship with D'Angelo Russell leading the way with insane numbers. 28 points a game, 9 and 8, almost 10 assists a game, 3 steals, 5 rebounds, and 46% from 3 point. That is insane and those are some crazy numbers from our <laughs> young player here. So we're going to go look at the roster just so you guys can get a last look at the Finals roster here. We have Paul George, D'Angelo Russell, DeAndre Jordan, Joel Embiid, Derek Favors, Harry Giles, Jamal Murray, Josh Richardson, Andre Iguodala, and Chris Humphreys. Uh, the rest of the team doesn't matter because basically none of these guys played any minutes, but we did have Will Barton in case we need, who's also really good off the bench. And if you're talking about a stacked team, I think this is the most stacked I've ever seen or made on my own here in NBA Rebuilding. And... I think this is the greatest that we've ever had. So thumbs up down below if you guys think this is one of the best teams you've seen. And that was an insane Game 6 Finals against the Bulls. But uh, comment down below also if you have another team that you want me to rebuild or if you have an idea for a challenge or anything. But until then, uh, I'll see you guys next time.